Hi friends, and welcome back. It's me, Miss Haley. Today, I would love to do a science experiment with you. In your school kit, I have provided the same materials that I'm using today so that you can do this activity at home while watching our YouTube video. Our first ingredient for our science experiment is baking soda. Baking soda is used for cleaning and for cooking or just for some fun chemical reactions. Our second ingredient that we need is vinegar. Vinegar has a very strong, pungent smell. I like the smell of vinegar, but some people don't like the strong smell of vinegar. Vinegar is also used for cleaning and for cooking. Did you know that we use vinegar to make pickles? Wow, I love pickles. But today, we are not making pickles. Today, our science experiment is a chemical reaction, which means when we mix these two ingredients, something will happen. The two tools that we need for our activity today is a tray or a plate or even a bowl. Our next tool is also in your school kit. This tool is called a pie pet. Can you say that? Pie pet. And it looks like this. When we're using our pie pet, it's very important not to bend it or squeeze too hard or even put it in our mouth because it can cause our pipette to uh, form a hole, which then means it won't work properly. On our pipette, I notice numbers. They feel kind of bumpy. I see the number five, 10, 15, 20, 25, and 30. But I also noticed two letters, M, L, which stands for milliliters. It's a measuring tool. In your school kit, you have a little glass jar that is labeled vinegar. So your vinegar, vinegar will not come in a big jug like this, but it's in a little jar. Carefully unscrew the lid and also be careful because it is in glass, meaning if we drop it or knock it over, it may break. Our vinegar, I have dyed blue just for fun. The first step in our chemical reaction is taking our baking soda and pouring it onto our solid surface that can be washable. Again, it can be a simple bowl, a tray, or even a plate. Your baking soda is in a bag. So you would open your bag and pour the baking soda onto your surface, just like that. To use a pipette, I hold it gently with two fingers, my thumb and my pointer. I'm going to practice before putting it into the vinegar. To have the pipette work, I gently squeeze with my thumb and pointer finger. I then will 
put the pipette into our vinegar with my fingers squeezing the bubble on the top. So I put it, I'm still squeezing, see? I'm not squeezing now, and now I'm squeezing. I'm gonna keep squeezing and put it into my vinegar and release my fingers. You can see the blue vinegar in our pipette, and it says 20 milliliters. And do you notice that it stays inside of here? I wonder if it goes upside, oh, it goes down into the bubble. I wonder if I go back, it's still in there until I squeeze again. Now, are you ready to see the chemical reaction? I know I am. I'm gonna hold this close and I'm going to squeeze the vinegar onto the baking soda, just like this. Wow, our chemical reaction. It caught the vinegar and baking soda mixed together, causes it to fizz and bubble. Should we do it again? This time, listen closely. Wow. And look, it turned my baking soda blue. How fun. When using our pipette, it's important to ensure that we just drop the liquid on top of the baking soda instead of poking it in there. Because if we poke our pipette into the baking soda, it will clog the hole, causing our pipette not to work properly, meaning that we won't be able to get as much vinegar. Oh, that was a big one. Ooh, I got to 25 that time. We'll do it one more time. Wow, science is so fun. I hope that you enjoy doing your chemical reaction at home. Remember to always ask first and to have your grown up by you while you're doing this uh, activity just to make sure that you are staying safe and that you don't act accidentally get any of these ingredients in or around your face. I hope that you enjoyed our video today, friends. I'll see you soon.